try and come some of the time. No, definitely I'll come. Just okay. um, because you have to use book. I will do that for you. No right. <laughs> Take care, bye. Thank you. Hello. Hey, what's your name? Pop, it's you, Kari. Don't talk nonsense. Talk nonsense. I'll design with this dagger here. My friend, shut up. Where your phone? Where your money? Where your money? I, I don't know. I don't know. Where's your money? I'm going to spoil your fine food. This is the one with you. Come on, take. Stop away, man. Hey! You're crazy. I said, you're mad outside. You're mad outside. Don't you worry. You're, you're, you're mad. I'm going to watch you. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on. See that guy. Hey, hey. Hey. Please. Be nice, boys, and give the lady back her handbag. Hey, my guy. Go your side. You go yourself, oh. I'm going to fire for you. You want to her, boy? Back, back. Go her. Hey, hey. 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 Just give her a handbag back and there won't be any trouble, okay? Please. Just give her the handbag. Come on, hold this thing. Hold this thing. Now me, you want to talk about that? I'll be the crazy. Come on now. You're the mad. I'm going to spoil your fine boy. What's going to worry you? You're a way. I'm going to trick you. I'm not telling you about this time. Yeah! 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 Are you okay? Yes. You're sure? Yes. You know, the proper thing is to scream for help. This town is becoming increasingly dangerous. Nobody likes to be here anymore. Have a nice day. Excuse me. What's your name? They call me Barry. Why you ask me this kind of question? You follow that? Here and there, right? The one person, you don't know. You're calling me crazy. Maybe now we can wait to find him. When I go for a street, go to the motor two days, you go. Come, come out, they, they claim, say, you, you, you know, champion. See, see what you, you get driving license. So I don't look you so. I'm crazy. Huh? The swag, you better say the swag if you have. Come down from me. Which is the car? This one, where you're back to Wait, wait, wait. Come, 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 come. My family come down. Huh? Do you know who you are talking to? Huh? Do you know I can break into the My wife bound to you, so what in the other side? Oh, oh, you, you know your wife had twins. So my man, you are running your mouth anyhow. Uh, uh, what? Do you uh, want to see your twins alive? What is going to be this one now? Huh? Oh, you okay, they jack me. Hurry. Leave me, John. This is not just what we We'll meet again. Yeah. I didn't know you are the one. Um, I didn't know you were the one to. Let's get it. Oh,
I said, I'm going to carry on and we'll be good. That's why we wake up in the morning, pray, finish, and we'll carry on and we'll see the food. Give me, give me. I have follow, follow, follow. Remark my face, so next time, I will want you to come back. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Wait for me, what Come. do you say? I didn't even want to know. Because of my children, I didn't be so. I will tell you, say that I didn't be sickness, so. I tell you now, they hear them all. I don't want you, 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 You think you're the first one? Baby, I'm here. Anna. Anna, stop now. Anna, but come out. Hello. So what are you playing all that game for? Um, Hide and seek. Keeping me in suspense, hmm? I was hiding my face in shame. For what? There's a problem, Barry. Now, what is the problem that your, the love of your life cannot take care of? Hmm? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. My dad wants to force us apart. And he wants to marry me to his friend's son. And you agreed? Does it look like I have a choice? I mean, he's cute and very rich. Rich. He's cute and rich. You noticed all that. So what are you still doing with me? Hmm? Um, I just wanted to let you know and then we'll end the relationship. Hmm. Yes. So what do you think I am? You think I'm rude or something? No. You hear me? No. No! I don't want to hear it! Barry! It was just a joke! Ah! <laughs> I was just joking! A joke? Yes. I just wanted to see your reaction. I was joking now. Hmm? Don't ever joke with me like that. I can't take it if you leave me. I'm going to die. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Look, don't ever leave me for another man. If you do it, somebody is going to die. And I mean it. How can you talk about love and death in one breath? Because you're relate. There's no love without death. And death without love. If 
any man ever takes you away from me. If I don't succeed in killing him, then he better succeed in killing me. To my life, my hope, my future, to everything. Do you understand? That's waiting. Let's go. Okay. You are welcome, my daughter. Yes. Oh, you still want the drink? No, no. You're welcome, my dear. Do you want one? Thank you, love. They're all yours. Really, you are the daughter of the famous Chief Menka? Yes, ma'am. The only daughter. Come on, ma'am. Thank you. You're very much welcome. Thank you. My daughter, of late you have made my son a happy, contented man. Unlike before when he used to be angry and ill-tempered. I asked him and he told me he is in love. So I requested to meet you. Well, here I am then. I hope you're happy. Very, very happy, my daughter. You are beyond my expectations. He tells me that you love him equally. I love him so much. I love him dearly. So happy to hear this from you. Oh, my dear, you must know that my son is the impatient type, that he's easily ruffled. I know, Ma. But at the same time, he's brave, he's strong, and he's very ambitious. That's why I love him so much. Oh, my God. You have made me a happy mother today. No, no. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so happy to hear this from you. I want you to make me a promise today. Promise me that you will never leave my son alone. You have made him a very happy man. Mama. My dear. Our hearts beat as one. I'll never leave him as long as he never leaves me. I'm so happy. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Oh, my son. To live on is to live life itself. Mama. For real. I'm so happy for the both of you. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. I uh, have to take my angel back. She has a coffee, you know. Yeah. So you have to go back home. Yes. Okay. When you get back home, send me word to your parents. Tell them that I send my respect to them for the humility they have instilled in you. Despite the fact that they have all the whole money in the whole world to buy you the good things of life. Good things to be honest. Thank my you. Daughter. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, my dear. Mommy, I'll be back then. Okay, dear. Bye-bye, yeah. my love. Yeah. yeah. Hello, my dear. Hello, thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Right. How are you? Hey, I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> Something for you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got something very important to discuss with you. I hope all is well. You sound serious, Dad. Serious good news. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I want to know about it now. I'll tell you, sir. Let's get it. 
I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> Remember Dr. Madu? Um, yes, your friend that died some time ago. That's right, that's right. I saw his son, Duna, today. Okay. And um, he told me that he would like to marry my daughter. But I told him he should give me some time so that uh, I will get your consent first. My dear, if you ask me, I think he is the ideal man for you. <laughs> I can't marry him, Dad. Baby girl. Why? You don't even know him and you are rejecting him. <sighs> Listen, my dear. This boy studied abroad and uh, he inherited his father's business. Running into millions of naira. If you ask me, I tell you something. This boy is actually doing a marvelous job, running these various businesses perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, that's not the problem. So, my baby, what is the problem? I've given my word to someone else. My baby? What? You mean you've been dating someone without my knowledge? <gasps> no, Mom. Oh, no. Baby girl. Mommy, no. It's not been long we got to know each other. It's not been long. <sighs> so, who is this person you're talking about? His name is Barry, and they live in number 20. Who is his father, anyway? Uh, I think his father is dead. You mean you don't really know the man who gave you word? Mm, it's not like that. Oh, my baby. I love him very much. I love him. Now, listen. I want to see him as soon as possible. I want to make sure my daughter is making the right choice. Thank you, Dad. Thank you very much. I'll bring him there after tomorrow so we can meet him. Let's talk about this. Believe me, it's not right. Why don't you just let me talk about it? Look, sit down. Sit down, baby. I don't think it's right. I go before another man to postray for what rightfully belongs to me. Okay, besides, look at it this way. God has bound you and I together. And I don't think any man should put us under, not even your parents. I know, Barry. But we need to get my parents' blessings and fulfill the tradition. Okay, what if your father rejects me? My father will not reject you. He doesn't despise people. But he's like every rich man out there, arrogant. My dad is not arrogant. All you have to do is humble yourself and ask for my hand in marriage. And I know he'll give his consent because he wants me to be happy. And after our marriage, I'm sure he'll make you the heir to all his wealth. Hey, I don't want his money. You understand me? I don't want your father's money. I'm strong than you. I'm young. I have drive. I have the brains. What makes you think I'll make good in no time? Baby, all I'm asking for is just a little bit more time. You know how much I've invested all around. You know, you know how hard I work. I work around the clock. I know in good time, the dividends will come in a few months or worse a year. And then I can go talk to him, one successful man to another. And then the negotiating point will be level. I feel disadvantaged now. Come on. They're not going to reject you, please. Please? Barry? Okay, okay. But that's... All right, all right. You know you... Barry. Barry, my 
my parents. Good day, sir. Pleased to meet you, my She's told me so much about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're welcome. Yeah, sit down. Okay, good afternoon. Okay, now this man. You just go carry it to get moto. Take block where better, better moto they come out. I said, making carry the motor come out. You know what, hear me? It's all right. Young man. Why did you block my entrance with your car and you refused to remove it? Well, sir, the reason is not far fetched. I'm no pretender. And there's nothing that's stopping me from going to hire one of these big cars, an S class or E class, and come here and pretend to be somebody else. But I'm not. I have a small car, that's what I can afford, and I packed it there for the world to see. I can do for now. Well, you did not need to be so brash about it. I'm about not being brash, sir. I'm being myself, which is more than enough for anything. It's okay. So, what can we do for you? <clears throat> it's just, I am. Um, I'm sure you're wondering why I came with nothing. Or anybody. I spent the better part of last night thinking of what I can come here with. I couldn't find anything that you don't have. You see, what can you give to a man that has everything? I walked in here, looked at your bar, you have different things. You have wines of different types. You have crystals, you have um, champagne, then burn, you have everything. But the only thing I have that's potent enough and I will have in my heart for the rest of my life is my love for Annabelle. See, I love your daughter very much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Young man, I don't like the way you sound. Why don't you try to be humble? Tell us precisely why you're here. Humble? What is the reason? You see, humility is invited pride. It's for hypocrites. I'm pragmatic, I'm like, I don't have to try and um, be humble to impress anybody. I don't want to be associated with pride or humility. This is Barry. This is all I have to offer. All I expect anybody that wants to accept me to accept. Look at him, I don't think I can stand this insolence anymore. Initially, I thought you were being arrogant. But now I can see you are just being plain stupid. Annabelle. Uh, so this is your idea of a future husband. I'm so ashamed of you. Now you, let me advise you, leave my house. Get out. Sister, I just want to assure you that I'm not disappointed. You rich people are all the same. You think you own the world and everything in it just because you have money. But you forget that anybody can make money. Like that. Let me also assure you, as you're literally kicking me out of your house, your daughter might be coming with me. The love and respect Annabelle and I have for each other runs deep and stronger than you can ever imagine. But you won't understand that. I worship love and you, you worship money. Have a nice day, sir. I said, get out of my house! Have a pleasant day, sir. Are you kidding me? Come here! What the hell? And now listen to me. And listen good. Let this be the last time I will see you without a ruffian! Nonsense!
Another. So, you want to elope with that boy? Another. Why don't you just kill us yourself? Rather than elope with that vain, arrogant fool. No, no. He's not an arrogant fool. It's all a mistake. I love him, Dad. See who's talking about love? You are just being infatuated. No, Dad, I love him. I really love him with all my heart. <laughs> oh, shit. Baby, we love you more than anyone else in the world. We love you so much. Why do you want to break my heart? Why do you want to remind me of the pains of motherhood? Why? For nine months, I brought you in my room. <laughs> when it was time to deliver, I had a lot of complications. It was only by the special grace of God that I survived. You were in the incubator for two painful weeks. And I sat there watching over you and your mother day in day out until Almighty God saved both of you for me. And so then the doctor said I would not be able to have another child. Since then, my husband and I devoted all our love and care to you. Why? Throw all that to the wind because of a boy that does not have regards or respect for your parents. That's Why are you so cruel to me, Annabelle? Why do you want to break my heart? <laughs> Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, please. It breaks my heart to see you cry because of me. I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm sorry, Dad. Listen, my dear, listen very carefully. You see, we respect your right to fall in love. But definitely not with the wrong person. Remember? Yes, Try and understand us. Don't put us to shame. I understand. I love you, my dear. I love you too. over between us. That's not what your heart says. It's what your parents told you to tell me. Well, I have to obey them. They gave back to me and they loved me very much. So what about the promise you made to me never to part? The promise you made to my mother. My mother is literally living on the hope you gave her. But I've been a promise to my parents even before I met you, Barry. But they now cry at birth to love and obey them. Be your parents or to let me die, right? You're not going to die, you're going to live. But living without you is like death in spirit, in flesh. Life doesn't end when relationship ends. Go ahead and make a new life without me. Without you? Yes, without me, even better. I know this has been going on for a long time. Your father probably hooked you up with one of his rich friend's sons. You're leaving me for a richer man, isn't that it? Stop it, Barry. Don't insult our relationship. Well, you have already insulted it the day you agreed to go with your selfish father's interest. Don't insult my dad. After all, you cost it. If you had conducted yourself like I advised you to, all this would have happened. I don't happen. care, alright? Stop saying that. I have to conduct myself before a man. Is it not a man just that he's richer? 
came as Barry. I came without pretenses, without hypocrisy, and he refused me. What else do you want from me? And let me tell you something. You are not leaving me. So you better get that whacked idea out of your head. If you mean burning down this whole world to make that point, I'll make that point. Now stop being childish and get into the car. Let's go where we're going. Step. Anna. Anna. You are not drunk. Tell me, my son. I can see grief written all over your face. Tell me. What is pain in your heart? I left Annabelle. Annabelle? No. I know you too well. You are a strong and brave man. But emotionally, you are weak. You can hurt a heart, not Annabelle's. No. Mama, bless you. Annabelle left me. He left me for a richer man. anything wrong Donald I'm not just in the mood I 
mean, I don't feel like it. It's okay. I just want you to remember that I'm human too. I've got feelings. I've got moods. I'm, I'm sure things would be a lot better if we both respect each other's feelings. Good night, my love. You think you're faster than that? You think you're faster than that? You're ready for work? Yes, I am. That's it. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, I'll see you when I get back. Alright. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Donald a chance to run that company the way he likes. That's not good enough. So how is it my fault, Mom? How is it my fault? When Father willed some five percent share to Donald and me get twenty-five percent to the rest of us here, what do you expect? You expect me to crash out of bed the morning to which office? Mom, come on, give me a break and let's be serious. Mommy, mommy, you did not even impress anything. Mommy, you did not. Mommy, look at us now. Squatters in our own father's house. Anymore. Mommy, it's not fair. Sweetheart, how on earth was I supposed to know what your father wrote in his will? He never liked me and my children. All he cared about was that witch he called his first wife. But God took her away. Yes. Then he transferred the whole attention to this arrogant work called Donald. How I hate his call. Sometimes I feel like strangling that guy, you know, when he walked past me. Be careful, Father. Our father was so wicked. Why did he even bring us into this world when he knew he could not take care of us? Why? Mom, now look. Take a very good look at Donald. Take a very good look at him. Donald is having the best of everything right now. Living big and large while oh. we are still scratching here. Hmm? Just look at the delectable charming princess he just got married to. Well, I'm still here doing nothing. God, when will my own time come? This has always been what I'm talking about, but mom, you will not listen to me. Patience, my dear. Mommy, for how long? Just be patient. Mommy. Mm -hmm. 
harder. Patient, patient, patient. Steve. Sweetheart, listen. I think you should finish your food and go and join him in the office, okay? I'm like I told you earlier, I'm tired. I'm Sweetheart, not going to, please. I'm going to no office. I'm not going to anywhere. Everybody. Hey, hey! Come back here. Why are you feeling too big to greet us? Uh -uh. I just greeted everybody now. I, I see. So that is the way you greet your parents, eh? That is the way you greet your mother at home. Get money, right? Get money, right? Huh? I thought they said you were well trained. Like this. Please don't mention my mom in this matter. I don't like it. Hey! Mommy! She even has a mouth. You? Betty, it's okay. Let me hang your mouth out <laughs> myself. Now listen girl, what are you feeling like? Okay. Hmm? What are you feeling like, small girl? Daughter of a millionaire. Is that not what you're feeling like? <laughs> listen and listen girl. My father was also a millionaire. So don't go thinking your father is the only millionaire we have in this world. Never mind that your wicked husband cornered everything for himself. But you haven't seen anything yet. I know my brother too well, and I know what he's capable of doing. So you better be wise and be good, girl. Anyway, when next you come out, make sure you greet us as well as we want, like your seniors. Did you hear that? As many times as you see us. Exactly what you will be doing. Because that is just what your husband does. And he never ever argues with me. Well, that's my husband and not me. Who? Oh. I don't like this harassment at all. I don't like it. Excuse, Excuse me. Hey, mommy. Mommy. <laughs> oh, God. So is there something that Donna brought into our family? Are you just know? Are you just knowing for the first time? Why Donald is ruling us in business? Our dear serpent here will also be ruling us in this house. Never. It can't happen. Mommy, you must do something wrong. You must do something about this. I show sure will. Hmm? Whatever, mom, man. Trust me, I'm going. my husband gave to me. I see. Anyway, I am still the mother of this house. Didn't your husband tell you that I still run this home? This is my husband's house and this is the car I want to go out with. Let that get into your little spoiled head. Mommy, please leave me alone. You're looking for my trouble this morning me. and I am what not going to here? give it to you. Mama, what is happening? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I was just telling my daughter-in-law here that we are supposed to be living like one happy family. But she is insisting on dividing us. What happened? What happened? She wakes up in the morning, she won't want to greet anybody. Look at right now. I am begging her to allow me to use her car for a important occasion. But instead, she is on to raining abuses at me. Ah, I should rather die than receive all this insult. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no. Mama, I'm sorry now. It's okay. It's... But I died that died and take all this insult. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sudha, please, please just apologize to Mama, please. Donald. <laughs> what do you mean apologize? I haven't done anything wrong. Come on, I know. I know. Please, just apologize to her and give her the keys. Look around, you have options. There's a Mercedes, there's a Jeep. Come on, please. Just give her the keys, please. I got no baby, it's not in me. Don't I 
It is very painful. It is very, very painful. I can't even insult him now. evil. I believe that someday they'll come to terms with their mistakes and they'll repent of their sins. Leave me alone. I said don't touch me again, please. I'm traveling out of town. I'll be gone for a few days. When, where exactly are you going to? I don't know. I can't say. Okay. When are you coming back? Don't know. Maybe when I get more bored than I am in my own house. So you're saying you're going to leave me alone all here by myself? <laughs> That's what you want, isn't it? You want to be alone. So I'm letting you be alone. You have the whole house to yourself. Okay? Have fun. So long. See you. Baby, do you know what you're looking like tonight? Me, you're looking really cool, captivating, swell, kinky. Name it, girl. You're one in a million tonight. And I hope you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> no, Steve, I don't understand where you're coming from. Oh, come on, sis. Stop all this pretense, sis. Besides, I know what's going on between you and my brother, Donald. Hmm? Come on, let's get down and feel ourselves. Hmm? Let's feel each other. I hope you do understand where I'm coming from, girl. <laughs> Hmm? Come on. Hmm? Like you. You're not bad at all. Don't touch me. 
You see, <coughs> stop all these things. I know you want me as much as I want you. Listen, girl. Baby, if you give it to me, I give it to you. I know what you want. You know I got it, baby, if you give it to me. I know with this track, you can now get down and feel me right now. So how about that, baby? Come on, feel me, girl. Stop I said leave me alone. Are you? Are you? Oh, come on, stop right. these things. You're making me talk to me. No, What's your problem? Don't touch me. Are you mad? Listen to me. If you ever lay your filthy hands on me again, I'll bite them off. <laughs> what did you just say? You heard me. Filthy hands. When you bite in my filthy hands will make you comfortable and happy tonight so as long as I get what I want from you, girl. Go ahead and bite it. Go ahead, baby. Come on, what's your problem? Feel me. What's your problem? Stop it! Dorm is not the best for you. Come on, feel me. Oh, you are your pretense. What's your hands off me? Are you feeling me? Come on! See your hands off me! Are you mad? Okay. What's your feeling? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh my god, see! Leave me alone! To your husband's room. I said, go back to your husband's room. Go back to your husband's room. You cannot get me. You cannot get me. You can imagine what this world is turning to. My brother's wife is compelling me to sleep with her. Just look at you. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Hey? I've always told you it's not possible. Well, you cannot get me. You can't get me. I told you, you can't get me. You can't get me. Another, you cannot get me. You cannot get me. I told you. I know the family I came from. You can't get me. You can't get me. You can't get me. You can't get me. The truth of the matter is that Annabelle here has been wanting me to sleep with her. Yes. She keeps complaining that my brother Donald doesn't satisfy her. Doesn't touch her anymore and all that. So I told her it's uncalled for. It's wrong. It's an abomination to our tradition, mm -hmm. but she wouldn't let me be. Hmm. Mom, you need to see the gift this guy has been buying for me. Plot chain, you know what that means. Hey. This guy bought it for me just for me to sleep with her. Until yesterday, yesterday, I was in the city room here communicating. She came in, she just rushed me and held me. She was like, she told me, oh, I want you to make love to me, that I can't be it anymore mm. since your brother is not satisfying me. After all, my brother is out of town. I told her, no, it's not possible. I can't betray my own brother. <laughs> she said, if I don't make love to her, she will not let go of me. Mm. I was there. She was compelling me. I was trying to, like, force my way out of her. Then Donald now came in and saw the scenario. But to God be the glory, I was able to overcome all her temptation. Steve! Yes. God, you liar. Darling, darling, please, don't listen to him. He called me quite all right, and I went to answer him thinking he wanted thinking to say what? What were you thinking? Oh, you tried to lure my son into such a shameful act, and now you want to turn it against him, eh? I see. So tell me. How did he know that you don't sleep with your husband? Answer me! Can't you talk? Can't so it's, it is an adulteress that we brought into our own family. Oh. God forbid. My husband. My husband, please. Eh? Don't listen to these people. I, I may not be the best of wives, yes. But I will never go to that length. I will never. Oh, my parents say if they should hear of this thing. Yes. Now you are talking. You must invite your parents to come and listen to this case. Don't worry. Adultery is an abomination and a shameful thing and should not be swept under the carpet. Today, you have to send for her parents to come and listen to this case so that we can decide whether she will continue to stay in this house or not. For real? Anyway. There's nothing enough, more to enough. say. Enough. Except that. Mama, enough! Silence! Enough! Keep your mouth shut! Donna! Enough! Are you talking to yes, me? Yes, enough! How can you? How can you and your children be so mean, so cruel to such an innocent girl? 
She is my wife. I know my wife. My wife will never do such a thing. Eh? Donald, so you mean you believe all her lies? It is you who's lying. You are the one's lying. I have tolerated all your wickedness, your hatred over the years. Hoping you will change. But you keep going from bad to worse. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. This is enough. I said it. I said it. Look at we were all living as one happy family before she entered. Today, I am called a liar by my own son. Donald, this girl has bewitched you. Mama, we never lived as one family. We have never, me. we have never lived as one family. Yes, I've only tolerated you. Yes. My father gave you a house of your own. But you chose to sell it and squander the money and then you moved into my own house. I did not complain. The business that was left in your care, you have run it down. Now everybody depends on me. I still did not complain. Now you want to transfer your unwarranted aggression to my wife and I say, no, that situation is unacceptable to me. I will not take it. Enough is enough. Donald, is it me you're talking to like this? I'm talking to you, mama. Donald, you're talking to I'm me talking like to you. I said enough is enough! Donald! Yes! Enough! Okay. In that case, I guess we have to pack our things and leave this house so that it can contain you and your lovely wife. Yeah, suit yourselves. I've had enough. Now listen to me, Donna. I've had enough of you. You understand me? Mm. If we leave this house for real, I'm going to teach you and your bitch wife a very good lesson. Do you understand me? How dare you talk to my wife? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Mother here has been wanting me to sleep with her. Yes. She keep complaining that my brother Donald doesn't satisfy her, doesn't touch her anymore and all that. So I told her it's uncalled for, it's wrong. It's an abomination to our tradition, but mm -hmm. she wouldn't let me be. Mom, you need to see the gift this guy has been buying for me. Plot nothing, you know what that means. Mm -hmm. This guy bought it for me, just for me to sleep with her. Until yesterday, yesterday, I was in the city room here, communicating. She came in, she just rushed me and held me. She was like, she told me, oh, I want you to make love to me, that I can't be it anymore since your brother is not satisfying me. After all, my brother is out of town. I told her, no, it's not possible, I can't betray my own brother. She said, if I don't make love to her, she will not let go of me. Mm. I was there. She was compelling me. I was trying to, like, force my way out of her. Then Donald now came in and saw the scenario. But to God be the glory, I was able to overcome all her temptation. Steve. Yes. God. You liar. Darling. Darling, please. Don't listen to him. He called me quite all right, and I went to answer him, thinking he wanted thinking to say what? What were you thinking? Oh, you tried to lure my son into such a shameful act, and now you want to turn it against him, eh? I see. So tell me, how did he know that you don't sleep with your husband? Answer me. Can't you talk? So it is an adulteress that we brought into our own family. 
God forbid. My husband. My husband, please. Eh? Don't listen to these people. I, I may not be the best of wives, yes. But I will never go to that length. I will never. Who oh, my parents say if they should hear of this thing? Yes. Now you are talking. You must invite your parents to come and listen to this case. Don't know. Adultery is an abomination and a shameful thing and should not be swept under the carpet. Today, you have to send for her parents to come and listen to this case so that we can decide whether she will continue to stay in this house or not. For real? Anyway, there's nothing enough, more to say. Enough. Except that... Mama, enough! Silence! Enough! Keep your mouth shut! Stella! Enough! Are you talking to me? Yes, that? enough! How can you, how can you and your children be so mean, so cruel to such an innocent girl? She is my wife. I know my wife. My wife will never do such a thing. Eh? Donald, so you mean you believe all her lies? It is you who is lying. You are the one lying. Eh? I have tolerated all your wickedness, your hatred over the years. Hoping you will change. But you keep going from bad to worse. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. This is enough. I said it. I said it. Look at. We were all living as one happy family before she entered. Today, I am called a liar by my own son. Donald, this girl has bewitched you. Mama, we never lived as one family. She we has have never, you. we have never lived as one family. Yes. I've only tolerated you. Yes. My father gave you a house of your own. But you chose to sell it and squander the money and then you moved into my own house. I did not complain. The business that was left in your care, you have run it down. Now everybody depends on me. I still did not complain. Now you want to transfer your unwarranted aggression to my wife and I say, no, that situation is unacceptable to me. I will not take it. Enough is enough. Donald, is it me you're talking to like this? I'm talking to you, mama. Donald, you're talking I'm to talking me I'm talking to you. Baby. I say enough is enough. Donald. Yes. Enough. Well, in that case, I guess we'll have to pack our things and leave this house so that it can contain you and your lovely wife. Yeah, suit yourselves. I've had enough. Now listen to me, Donna. I've had enough of you. You understand me? Mm. If we leave this house for real, I'm going to teach you and your bitch wife a very good lesson. Do you understand me? How dare you talk to my wife? How dare you? 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 How dare you?
back here to pick up any of the and we're going to be here for good. And don't I mean, watch out for me. Just watch me out. Watch me out. So you have the info to send us out because of your beats wife. See, don't worry, let's go, let's go. You must please let the house follow you. I'll visit you. I'll visit you, Donna. I'll visit you. how you coped and tolerated my nagging and short tempers. I'm sorry. Love forgives all things. Love tolerates all things. How stupid was I to think that you were weak? You were not my type. You were old-fashioned. Oh, I know you have a mind of your own. You know, I was with my father when he died. And he asked me to take charge. He knew my stepmother and her children too well. And he pleaded with me to tolerate them. He said it was a mistake to have married her. But he needed to have more children. Since my mother couldn't have any more after my birth. I promised him I'll tolerate them. And I kept to my promise. But you see, when pushed to the wall, even a goat can bite. My father always said that the stripes of a leopard should not be mistaken for coward eyes. They mistook my gentility for weakness and they have paid for it. Oh, I love you so much, darling. I love you too. You're my hero today and forever. <laughs> you know what, darling? What? Looks like our honeymoon just started. <laughs> so what are we going to call it then? Advanced honeymoon. Mm, or maybe honeymoon in arrears. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> I love you, girl. Thank you so much. Mm. Sources tell me that you shop here. I've been waiting a long time. Why don't you help me? Let's go somewhere private. Hmm? Uh, how's your mom? Mama is dead. 
She died a year ago. She died? Mm. Oh my God. She died. God, I'm so sorry, Barry. It happens. The only regret is that Mama died with all her dreams for me. I wish she was alive to see what I am today. You know, when you left me, I was worth 500 naira. But today, I'm worth 500 million naira. I have an empire that's worth that much. Now, do you know how I traveled from 500 naira to 500 million? I walked. And when I was exhausted with walking, I ran. And when I'm tired of running, I fly. And every time I want to give up, I think about you. Your voice, your face pierces my heart and I tell myself, Barry, just one more step. And I take that one step. Every rich man I met. Different countries, different corporations, different investments, different disappointments. At the end, I got what I wanted. And finally I made it. But there was just one thing above everything. And that was you. Before you, every other thing I've achieved is meaningless. I belong to someone else now, Barry. You don't belong to that man. You married his money and his status and not the man. Okay? And I have more money right now. An even larger status. So what more do you want? Fine. I thought I was forced into it at the time. But today, I worship the man I married. He is my breath, my heartbeat. I mean, I love him. He's my husband, my love partner. Forget everything about me, Barry. I cannot forget you. I can't forget you. After all these years, after this height, I've not forgotten you and I can't forget you. And I assure you, you will be mine. You're my bloodline, my soulmate. You will come back to me, I'll show you. The friendship we had was great. But it was over a long time ago. Barry, please, go away and don't come back. It's over. Over. Okay? Excuse me. Annabelle, you're making another mistake. Annabelle, you are making a mistake. That man that you lord and worship. By the time I descend heavily on him, I'm going to strip him of everything he has. And you will come begging. And for him, he will be in the streets. You will come back to me. I will have him no other way. Because you belong to me! So everything you need to know about him is here. The documents, whatever man, just glance through it and tell me what's up. So is there any other thing you need to know about him? Just let me know, I'm going to supply everything, you know. He's my brother, I know how to hook him up. I know how to get him. No. I think everything I require is right here. It's a good job, very explicit. I'm impressed. Okay. You see, I'm one man that um, rewards loyalty very well. For real? I know what um, is required here, and I also know what you want. I'm going to dethrone him. And I'll make you the majority shareholder, right? Isn't that what you want? You'll like that. Of course I will. <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> you see, in this kind of exercise, a great deal of money is um, required. But you need not bother. I have money in abundance. Here. This is... Um, 150,000. And consider it some kind of um, retainer for the services you rendered. Okay? My guy. <laughs> 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 
So would you like more drinks? Ah, whatever. Let him get more drinks. Let him get more drinks. Where's waiter? Waiter! Waiter! No worry. He's coming. I'm afraid I have to run. I have some business associates coming in from China. All right. So, um... Just enjoy yourself. Yeah, my guy, you too want to. I'm sure $150 will take you on the day, right? <laughs> Miracle. <laughs> my guy, man, I love doing business with people like you. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Just calling to find out what's holding up the shipment of my goods. What? No, 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 I have not received the goods. I have not even seen the bill of lading. Confirmation letter? Oh, look, Mr. Chang, look, look. How can I send you a confirmation letter when I have not received the goods? Signed by me? No, 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 that's, that's impossible, Mr. Chang. Look, 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 I'm sure this is a joke, okay? If it's a joke, just cut it off, okay? Yes. No, 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 look. Okay, okay, please, just fax me a copy of the confirmation letter, please. Yes, immediately now, please. my goods from Hong Kong and China worth 12 million Naira. You know, the worst part is they have authentic documents. Documents signed by me. This person has information that only an insider should have. I've checked out Steve. Steve does not have the brain for this kind of high level fraud. He doesn't have the brain. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so disorganized. Darling, I'm so sorry. I mean, I had no idea. I cannot believe you've been going through all this without letting me know. Everything is going to be okay, alright? Please, take it easy. Please. God will expose this fraudster and recover our money. Okay? Please, I beg you. Take it easy, don't. Please.
No, not at all. There's no problem, sir. Yes, all the goods arrived today. No, they're in my warehouse right now. No, I had to personally escort the goods from Hong Kong this time around. <laughs> no, you know what they say, sir. Once beaten, twice shy. Yes. Okay, the supplies will be made tomorrow then. Okay. So long, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. serious what's happening to you boy I mean what's all this string of um, tragedies what exactly is happening to you Don? and I need your help Auctioned tomorrow. What? Your house? Yes. <laughs> house. I did everything possible. Everything possible to pay back the bank loan. I failed. Jesus Christ. Huh. This is another dimension to the whole thing. But. What about your your father-in-law? Is he aware of all these um, developments? Ken, Ken, I don't want to bring my father-in-law into this. Why? You know, come on. You you know how it is. You know, now you think I am not capable of taking care of his daughter. Uh, but I think he can help. I know Ken, but I mean, you're a man. You understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Ken. Look, can I know that I can swim through this? Okay, if you just do me one favor. Already, I'm making serious inquiries. I had the private investigator, and then I'm getting progressive reports. You know, so I know it's, it's only a matter of time. Then I'll get to the bottom of this, and 
I'll get over it. But I need you to do something for me. And that is buy back my house for me tomorrow. Hmm. That is a big one, man. My house. Buy back the house at the auction. That's all I have left, girl. Okay. That's a big one. That's all I have left. Ah. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I can't do it. Whatever it will take you, whatever it will cost, just do it for me, please. It's okay. It's okay. If that is all that you need to bounce back, to be the dawn that you've always been, Donna, I'm going to buy back your house at the auction tomorrow. Thank you, Kai. What are friends for? I will. Uh, and you decide to tell me to do. But you take it easy, huh? Thank you. You take it easy, everything you find. So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I have to introduce myself. I am Chief Engineer Ezilo, the auctioneer for the day. Um, the house has been declared for sale. And the opening offer is 7 million naira. So, you're free to make your offer. Um, I, Mr. Ken, I see where I have I make an offer of 10 million naira for the mansion. 10 million naira, Ken, I see where? 10 million. 11 million. 11 million naira, Chief Obaka. 11 million. 12 million naira. 12 million naira, Madam Vibut. 12 million naira going. Going for 12 million. Make it 12.5 million naira. 12.5 million naira, Chief. Yes, yeah. 12.5 million. Yes, yeah. 12.5 million, Chief. Yes, yeah. 15 million naira. 15 million naira. Can we put our house together? Put our house together. 15 million. 16 million naira. 16 million naira. 16 million. 16.5. 16.5, Ken Osigwe. Can you put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen? 16.5 million naira. 16.5. 16.5. 16.5 going one. 16.5, Ken Osigwe going two. 20 million. 20 million barricade. 20 million barricade. Barricade. 20 million for the mansion. Mansion. A beautiful mansion, ladies. 20 million naira going. Going one. Going two. 22 million naira. 22 million naira. Ken Osiwe. Ken Osiwe once again. 22 million naira. 22 million naira. 22 million naira. Ken Osiwe, 22 million. This house is going for 22 million naira now. The mansion is going for 22 million naira. Ken Osiwe, 22. Going one. Going for 22 million naira by Kelo Sigwe to 30 million. Excuse me, can I hear you well? Auctioneer, what was the last offer? Uh, that was 22 million naira. I made an offer of 30 million. 30 million naira, ladies and gentlemen. Don't put our hands together. 30 million naira for Barry He has offered 30 good million naira for the mansion. So, ladies and gentlemen, shall we go for the 30 million going? 30 million naira going one. 30 million naira going two. Going three. Going, going. Going, going. 30 million naira. Going three. Going, going. Going, going. Yeah. Put your hands together. Barricade. You know my office complex. Yes, sir. Be there at 8 o'clock sharp. My PA will be waiting with your money. It's okay. Don't be late. Have a pleasant day, ladies and gentlemen. It was a healthy competition. Bye. Uh, uh. Okay.
Downfall of a man is not in that is nice. Come on, this, this is your house. My house is your house. Let's go. It's all right, Nadia. You know this will not cost you. My husband and I will do our best to make you comfortable. I promise you won't back in it. Come on, Now that I'm rich. I can have all I want I have taken over your lives Including your house You must come back You belong to me This is my house You are my life Come back to me Now that I'm rich I can have all I want I have taken over your lives, including your heart. You must come back. You belong to me. This is my house. You are my life. Come back to me. Oh. Now that I'm rich, I can have all I want. Mm, I have taken over your lives, including your house. You must come back. You belong to me. This is my house. You are my life. Come back to me Now that I'm rich I can have all I want mm. I have taken over your lives Including your house You must come back You belong to me This is my house You are my life Come back to me I can have all I want I have taken over your lives Including your house You must come back You belong to me This is my house You are my life Come back to me Now that I'm rich I can have all I want I have taken over your lives, including your house. You must come back. You belong to me. This is my house. You are my life. Come back to me. I can have all I want mm, I have taken over your lives Including your house You must come back You belong to me 
This is my house, you are mine Come back to me Now that I'm rich I can have all I want Accountant, raise a check of 800,000 Naira from the family's account. I want to change some of the furniture in the house. It's okay, madam. But we have to be careful how we spend. The money is fast finishing. Steve went to 400,000 last week. Hmm? Betty here would do 300,000 Naira two weeks ago. What? Betty! You really people go with drawing money without my consent? What sort of nonsense is that? Tell me, must you tell you everything? Yes, you must tell Madame Gold everything. Really? Yes. Then I can as well tell when my boyfriend is on top of me. Yes. He heals me. Then yeah, what is it? Betty! Uh -uh. Excuse my friend. Betty, come back here. Come back here. You're putting out on me. Sorry to say, your children behave so rudely to you. They don't have single regard for you. The way you people are going, the little remaining business will soon crumble like others. I cannot be out of job. I miss in the accountant. I can always get a better job. I understand you, my dear. Life is indeed a mystery. I have given my children all the love and care as a mother, but they don't have any respect for me. I don't know where I went wrong. Do I have another son who has never raised his voice over me? I didn't really care for him. Why? He's not really my son. He's my stepson. How I wish he were mine. Well, that is today's word for you. You can be stabbed by a family member or need to be rescued by a total stranger. Accountant, my children are a perfect example. I think it has to do with upbringing by parents. When there is a good upbringing, it results to good behavior. Yes, but what children have I indulged? It is usually counterproductive and they get spoiled and turn against the parents. Yes. I know where my problems started. I used my children as a weapon to fight my co-wife, mother to the other son, and they grew up with so much envy and wickedness. And it has oh, Never mind, please, let me have the check. There's so much to be corrected in my life, please. doing in my son-in-law's house? You mean my house? What do you mean your house? Exactly what I mean. I leveled your so-called son-in-law out. This house now belongs to me. I bought it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Chief, look at my shoes. And I want you to cast your mind back to the first time I came to your house and you looked at my shoes with so much scorn. How time have changed. So have the status too. 
Or wouldn't you agree? What the hell are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Chief. You give my love, my woman to another man because of money. So I said to myself, if fools can make money, how much more a man with my first class brain, with my drive? So I went after money with everything I had. And I made it in abundance. So it stands to prove that money is nothing. Though I agree that he still has the very thing that is most precious to me. But it's just a matter of time. And I'll get that back too. And you must agree that I also have time in abundance. Young one. You were insolent the first time we met. And now you are even more insolent. I think I'm more convinced now that my choice for my daughter was absolutely right. You are not her type. And you will never be, not even with all the money in this world. You rascal. Let me advise you. Leave my daughter alone and go and search for your type to settle down with. As for this house, I'm going to get back this house. I don't mind how much it's going to cost me for my son in law. Well, there's no law that prohibits dreamers, Chief. But I want you to also realize one fact. You will be my father-in-law if that's the last thing I do. And you thank God for it. How could such a tragedy happen? And you and your husband never mentioned it to us. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. We didn't want to bother you. What? What do you mean you didn't want to bother us? Isabel, you are my only child. Yes, sir. And everything I have belongs to you and Tuna. Yes, huh? Why did you decide to come this low? Why, Annabelle? Why? I'm sorry, Dad. We just thought we could handle it on our own without bothering you. Oh. By the way, does he know that rascal you call Barry? No, no, he doesn't. And I wouldn't even want him to know. I'm not sure what his reaction will be. No, baby girl. Don't you think it's better for him to know who the real enemy is? No. Yes! No! Yes, yes baby girl! No, no, no. Yeah. It will shatter him. It will break no, his heart. No, I've been thinking about it too. I must find a way to handle it myself permanently. I'm really scared of what Donald's reaction might be if he knows the truth. I don't want to lose him. Hmm. No, baby, don't. don't. But the truth is this. You cannot continue like this, Annabelle. You can't. Oh, no, huh? Dad, we won't. Donald and I will discuss something tonight and then we'll come and see you over the weekend. Okay. Everything will be fine. Just let me handle it myself, please. It's all right if you say so. <clears throat> but then, let him know that we were here. And I equally registered my displeasure. Hmm? Take care of yourself. Okay. Oh, my baby. So. <laughs> my baby, I love you so much. Yourself, Annabelle, how could you be this wicked? How could you be this mean? I thought we had a relationship that was based on trust. Okay, I hired a private investigator. And I find out that the man who has been trying to wreck me is your lover. He doesn't even want anything from me. All he wants is to have you back. 
and you live under the same roof with me, and you kept all this to yourself. You're waiting for me to kiss the sand so you can conveniently go back to your lover boy? No. No, my husband. It's not like that. I was scared. I didn't know how you'd feel. Please, Donna. I didn't know you'd go this far. Please believe me, Donna. Please. I didn't know my husband. The fool that I was. I'm such a fool. I thought you were sad. Because you were missing your parents. I thought you were sad because of any problems of marriage. And I bet I could never have thought you were in love with someone else. I could never have thought that. No, my husband. No. You love him. You love him passionately. You only put up with me because that's where your parents were. No, Donna. No. Please. Don't say such things, Donna. It's not fair. Yes, I loved him. I loved him at the time. I thought I did. But it's all in the past. You're the only man I've truly come to love, Donna. It's you I love. Please, Donna. Please. This was my infatuation. And it's all in the past. It all happened a long time back. Please. Donna, please. Can I believe you? You lived under my roof. And yet you let him wreck my business. If you went anywhere and I took my house. present and the future. God, you must have borne so much alone in the past. I want you to know you are no longer alone. Together, we can fight the enemy and the difficulties. I yearn for you. The 
You're all that I think of. Everything I've achieved, anything that I achieve, is for you. It's always been for you. And don't be afraid, my darling. Come into my life and let me make you the happiest woman that ever lived. this um, hello Barry it's me Annabelle Annabelle is this really you oh yes it's me all right um listen I need to meet with you where can we meet I, I, I'm right here I'm in my house in in, in our house our home how fast can you make it? How fast can you be here? Um, I'll just change up. Say in the next 10 minutes I'll be there. Okay, 10 minutes is fine. Hurry my darling. Hurry. Okay, see you soon. I am waiting for you. Yes. Yes! Yes! I said it! I said it! When Barry dreams, Barry achieves it! I told you all oh that my darling is coming back! Yes. I'm a winner! I told him! How can he live with a moral? Will a hundred percent man yearn for her? My blood, my soul, my every beat! It's for Annabelle. Yes! It's a ghost. A ghost! To the greatest love I ever lived, the God in his infinite artistry had the effort to make. Now that I'm rich, I can have all I want I have taken over your lives Including your house You must come back You belong to me This is my house You are my life Come back to me I've come to tell you something about it. This is not a time for words speak for us as it used to, to suffice. I've missed you so much, so, so much. Please don't ask me how I survived all this time without you. But I did. And the only thing that matters is that you're back. I can't wait to tell the poor. I can't wait to tell the world that my beloved is back. You misunderstand me, Barry. Now, we love each other. That is the only language I need to understand. I know you love me. You have missed me so much. That is why your back is in that song. No, Barry. I am not back. I am never going to come back. I've come to tell you, you who was once my dear friend, that I'm soon to be a mother by the man I married and by the man who I love dearly. You're pregnant for him? Yes, Barry. Me, pregnant. Me, a mother, pregnant for my husband. At least now you can understand I can never be yours. Please, forget everything about me. I know it may be hard, but you just have to. You'll always be in my heart. Donald is my life. I love him so much. Please leave us alone, Barry. Please. 
goodbye. Goodbye forever, Barry. Oh, please. I love so much, give so much and receive nothing but scorn and pain in return. God, I've been such a fool. The thing that she loved me more than she loves him. How could I have lost her? Who says you've lost? Who says I've won? The relationship between we humans must not always be that of competition and enmity or vengeance. When I married Annabelle, I never knew you, nor anything between both of you. Why would I hate you? Why should you hate me and plot my downfall? It's all destiny. You have your dreams. I have my dreams. Destiny shattered your dreams. Let me tell you something. See, there's so many men out there who think they can plot their own destinies. It is not in their hands. It's in God's hands. God plots our destinies. We can only walk towards it. We must leave the rest to God. And destiny. I've always believed destiny is according to your abilities. What you make of it according to your strength. Each man to his own accord. That is what I saw destiny as. But apparently I'm wrong. I was so wrong. No man can ever love Annabelle the way I love her. With all due respect, not even you. But then again, that's what makes you, Donald, and me, Barry, different destinies. I'm not your enemy, my friend. I wish you a happy married life. I request that you um you allow me forty eight hours to consult with my lawyers. I'll order them to change the papers of the businesses and your house back to your room. It's the least I can do. I also request that you grant me one favor. I wish that you take care of Annabelle as if she were your life. She's a phenomenal woman. Annabelle is my life.
So, do you care to step into my oh, your house for a drink? I don't mind. Yes.